Okay, um, this is kind of a uh, addition, and you'll see this video start again, um, where it seems like I'm starting from the beginning, but um, there's a few notes I wanted to make uh, aware um, with the completed before you got started. There, the 10 stitch star blanket concept done with the shape and then two rounds and you do two sides okay and they should be the same size and um, what you want to do when you make sure that you line them up is you see this uh, attachment here that goes down you want to make sure that the same attachment that goes down is on the same side because that's a shallower side and it doesn't have as harsh of an angle okay so make sure that those sides line up the other thing is is when you are doing this section here you want to make sure that your corners line up on each side okay so that you don't have wonky corners when you're done and how you want to do that is let's say that um, let's see if I can find let's say that you have one side that's showing up that's not going to quite meet up with the other side and it's going to be a little longer what you can do is for a few of them or wherever it gets to be even it's going to be somewhere in here you're going to see whether it's going to line up or not just before the corner you can skip on the longer side you can skip a single chain on the um, actual you can skip the chain on the actual pillow because the chains work like you're doing here but you're attaching you can just skip to the next chain and work it skip to the next chain and work it so that it lines up but it's important that the corners line up on your pillow that's an, another note to make um, if you don't feel comfortable doing this you can try to measure out how long of a round you'll need and actually make it and sew it all together but I find this is just easier to do so um, we're gonna go from here but those are a couple of notes that I wanted to add before truly getting started after having finished this and it occurred to me there was a couple of things that were going to be important to know and those were those two things where the seam going down has to line up because it's a shallow and if your points have to line up and in order for your points to line up you can skip every other one until it lines up I did it on a couple of sides you can not even see it like I had to do it on um, this side here and then this was fine this was fine and I had to do it some through here and you can't even tell so you just skip a chain and go to the next one until you line up but you want your corners to line up as much as possible and what I've done is lightly pressed the um, negative side or the wrong side I've lightly pressed it so it's nice and smooth on both of them okay so if you want to go in and you could just take the wrong sides put them together and then just sew them together but I kind of want there to be like a section like this on the side okay so what I'm going to do is continue with the same concept of how I've been doing with the blanket but I'm going to be attaching that and doing a panel that connects the two all the way around but I need to show you how to get started and then you can kind of go from there okay well I've been using the Pre um, Premier Sweet Rolls and if you're going to do this project you'll need two skeins I had to work on some scrap yarn to finish it up and you can use the rest of the skein to do the side but I'm gonna do some white so um, what you want to do is I'm going to use eight stitches okay so I'm going to do the slip stitch short side long side push away thumb through pull through tighten okay send it through to the back to do the crochet cast on we're only going to do eight so there's 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Actually, I just take the loop and put it on there. There. Eight. Okay. Now, to get started, you find and start with a corner. And because I have them lined up like this already, it's going to be easier to figure out what corners you need on one side. Okay. So, um, they should be exactly the same. Mine aren't. Mine was to do an example on the um, tutorial that made it faster, but the other side is done in the garter stitch, and that's how the garter stitch is going to work. Okay, so this can tell me that this is the front or that's the back and everything, but we've got the negative sides facing each other. And so what you want to do is you want to find the first stitch to attach to the first peg. The first stitch you want to attach to the first peg. And I like to go with the start of the cast off here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to attach that to that one. Okay. And you're going to be skipping this one, okay, to go over there, but all right now. Remember I told you about you find the shorter one? That's right there, okay. And you'll see that it lines right up with the uh, increase, decrease thing. So you see the short end there. And you're going to go ahead and add it on there, okay. We're going to be working up this direction. And it's going to seem kind of backwards, all right. So we do a knit over... fix that. Okay, we do a knit over. Alright. Toss both loops over. Skip the first one or slip it and purl your way back over and purl the two together on the other side. Now if you want to knit all this, you can. You don't have to do the garter. I'm doing the garter. Okay. Heck, if you want to do a full-on patterning here, you can. This is mostly a guide. You can get real creative with this, all right? So, next, you find your next stitch, which is right here. And you put it on the first peg. Okay. And because you'll be slipping, make sure your working yarn is on the other side. But you can go ahead and pull up the next stitch, which is right here. Okay. Alright. So then you're going to go over and you're going to knit your way over. Knit both those together. Then you're going to slip that and purl your way over. And purl those two together. Okay. So you're going to continue this where you pull up the next one and put it on the peg, on your first peg. So you're going to follow the chain, the next chain, and you're going to put it onto the first peg. Huh, somehow I shorted myself. Okay, and making sure that we're not on the pro, okay. You're going to come down to the next one and 
make sure your working yarn is facing that way and your next one is that one put it onto the peg okay you can put it on after you've done this side and not have to worry about making sure your working yarn is on the other side it's up to you but what you're going to do is you're going to continue doing this process all the way around until you are in needing of closing until you're ready to close off then you're going to just bind off and sew the ends together and I'll show you how to do that okay so go ahead and continue all the way around and then I'll show you how to finish up the actual star pillow this isn't a bad pattern and this will help kind of get you the understanding of how to do a star pillow without getting into a massive project so it allows you a little project before you get into something massive okay well go ahead and pause the video and continue all the way around okay I've gotten all the way around my star area and now I need to do a bind off and I'm going to do a modified bind off and the reason being is I want a little stretch in it and when you do the regular bind off you don't have any give for the most part so I'm doing the modified bind off and you see what I'm doing here and just doing that and to keep in mind if you want a, a fatter area between your two panels you just do more um, stitches than what I've done which is not difficult St same concept just you know more stitches in between you can do full 10 stitches if you want um, but that's basically I wanted it a little thinner but yeah so you do the modified bind if you want to know what that's about go to Lima Hat and she has a full video on it and instead of e-wrapping I do a flat knit instead but it's the same concept and when you're done with the bind off you're going to cut a um, a really a longer tail so that you can sew the sides up together and yes you are leaving yourself kind of a small hole but it saves you having to sew a whole bunch of area when all you'd have to sew is a couple of inch area that kind of thing so go ahead and cut you a long tail and then um, I'll show you how to sew the edge together but at this point you're going to want to stuff the pillow so I've stuffed it for the most part and you see how small the hole is and you want to stuff the corners as much as possible and that kind of thing go ahead and have your tail threaded and then I'm going to kind of do a weave in and out so that's nice and secure but you can sew it up whatever way you prefer this is just how I chose to do it you barely notice the seam but um once you sew this up you kind of form a um, reform the mold the polyfill inside so that it's nice and even and more uniform throughout but when you're stuffing you want to make sure that you're really going in and you can get your fingers in there easily enough and stuff the corners first and then you can start stuffing the middle and you can try to kind of form it again um, before you actually do the sew up where you have a little bit more hands on so um, again you can sew this up whatever way you want this is just my preferred method kind of thing it kind of gives it a little more give the more give you allow you don't have a stiff spot on your pillow so um, I just kind of did more of a weave 
so that it had the option to um, give so that you can barely tell where the seam is. Once you get the hang of the concepts and everything, this pattern really isn't too bad to do and most of the, the challenging part is getting the points to line up while you're going around, but again, you can skip a chain to start lining it up until it lines up. And you will need a crochet hook, so I usually only send it partially the way through to make sure that I can knot it up nicely. And then I cut it to a shorter end and then pull the tail into the actual pillow. And this is kind of just the method I use to close off when it comes to stuff like this, stuffed animals, that kind of thing. Just makes it easier. I don't like having to go in and do weaving. You aren't going to see the inside anyway. But this should wash up fine. So go ahead and get your crochet hook and pull your end through. And then you'll want to fill in that corner and mold it some and then you're done. That's how you do the star, star pillow.